Hey guys, it's uh, Coach Lou, and I wanted to make a video and explain to you and tell you about uh, all the great things that happened at the Team Beach Body 2014 Coach Summit in Las Vegas. Um, it was unbelievable. Uh, it was so much fun. It's always a great trip. It's so wonderful to go out and see friends, uh, you know, coaches that are in my team, meet new friends, meet coaches I've interacted with from other groups, if you will. Plus, you get to meet the celebrity trainers like, you know, Tony Horton and Sean T and Shailene and uh, Autumn and Sagi. An incredible experience. And I so recommend going to Summit to every coach because it's a game changer. It's, it's a way to expand upon your understanding of the business. It's a way to teach yourself through watching others and through learning from others how to go outside your comfort zone. But I wanted to give you like a little uh, summary of everything that happened at Summit. Um, uh, Summit runs basically from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, excuse me, it runs Thursday through Saturday and then we depart on Sunday. But you basically get in on a Wednesday night because very early Thursday morning we kick off with a group seminar. And this year's group seminar was amazing. It was spearheaded by Barbie Decker. It was uh, also run by Josh Spencer and Chris Balmer. And we had other Star Diamond coaches there to talk about different things, such as the Automatic CEO, which is a, which is a fantastic um, email system uh, website service that enables you to reach out to more people and more efficiently help people as you have a, a team that grows, if you will. Um, we also had guest speakers, Carl Deichler, came out and just wowsy us all. Uh, Sagi came out and gave us such a great motivational uh, pep talk. He told us his own story about how he had gone from, uh, you know, start to finish with where he is now. Uh, man came from a, the man was sleeping in a car for a while until uh, he made this big break with Beachbody. Uh, we also got a good vibe and pep talk from Sean T. Uh, Tony Horton came out and wowsied up the crowd and was talking about nutrition and what we do and why we do it and how we coach and so on. It was um, an amazing, an amazing morning. Um, then we were able to head on over to the core. The core is an area in Summit where you basically go to you know, look at new products and be able to, you, you know you can basically buy all the clothing that you see in the um, Beachbody shop area. But there's a lot of new clothing. There's different things that aren't available in either the Beachbody Mall or the um, the Team Beachbody website. But they also have different celebrity trainers in there. And if you wait online for a little bit of time, you can get your picture taken with them. And they take your picture and they'll post it to a website where you can download it or you can bring your own camera. And Dan and Rachel were there. Autumn was there. Sagi was there again. Uh, Tony, Sean T. Uh, they also have uh, a stage set up where they do different things uh, to interact with the crowd and ask questions. Uh, you know, like if you want to ask Sean T questions. Um, they have a booth to explain how the ultimate reset works, uh, how something new works that's called the uh, three day refresh, which is a, um, it's, it's kind of like the evolution of what was the coach invented Shakeology three day cleanse. Uh, that's a that's a really great program for anybody that wants to lose like five pounds or so in three days. Um, it was a it was an incredible experience going to the core. I got to talk to Sagi, and I, you know I told him congratulations on your engagement to Bobby Decker, and he was very receptive to that. He was very thankful to me. I also got to pick up Autumn and take a picture of myself holding her. I was curling her, which was a lot of fun. Um, but then back into what's going on at Summit, I actually skipped a very important step. When you get to Summit, uh, the first thing you do is you go to this registration area, and they have it set up so that when you go in, you, you don't really have like a ticket for Summit. You, you go in and you give them your name and your coach ID, and then they look you up on the list. And depending on your rank, they give you a, uh, a big medallion. Mine was a diamond medallion that I actually got uh, the last time I was at Summit. But they give you one for emerald now or ruby. Star Diamond, if you will, Diamond. Uh, you also get uh, wristbands. I don't have mine anymore, but the wristbands are basically what you wear throughout Summit. 
so that they can identify that you're you paid for some and you're not just sneaking in. But they also give you a wristband if you've been fortunate enough to be invited to any of the special parties, such as the Star Diamond Party or the Sequence and Stud Party that was for people that scored Success Club 10 in the month of, um, I think it was April. But um, you also get a book, uh, Never Give Up. This booklet describes all of the events. Um, a really great welcome message from Carl Dykler. There's a map of the hotel and the, all of the grounds where everything is going to be held. There's the calendar for everything that you're doing. Uh, there's the list of about 10 different workshops. Actually, I'm sorry, about 12 different workshops. And the workshops are conducted <clears throat> by other successful coaches that have um, basically come forward and crafted a workshop to describe their plan for success in terms of how they maybe reach out to people or how they can help new coaches or or what you can do to uh, better interact with people. If you, For example, let's say you're a coach that has a problem uh, speaking to people or, or trying to understand the needs of other people. These workshops give you the, under, give you the skills and the tools necessary to overcome those kind of boundaries. A um, lot of different things. Something for everybody. Uh, this is really great for any new coach or any uh, veteran coach that needs a little can of um, you know whip ass, if you will. Um, they also had a uh, a great grand opening ceremony. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Carl Dykler likes to put on a show that's on the level of the Academy Awards, and they have the grand arena at Vegas where we all piled in. And, you know, he keeps it entertaining, he keeps it funny, he keeps it motivational. The crowd really gets, goes crazy when Carl speaks. And um, also, uh, Jeff Hill was there. I got to talk to him a bit in the core. Jeff Hill is another one of the um, power figures at Beachbody. And they, they basically explain everything that's happening with the company. They, you are a part of Beachbody if you're a coach. You're not just some little twig offshoot, if you will. And they explain to you how you can succeed and how you can better reach out to people and how you can help people and how you can move upward if you wish to make being a beach body coach a full-time thing uh, they bring out other successful coaches that talk about how they did it and it's kind of heartbreaking because a lot of coaches that are very successful they seem to have some really uh, incredible hallmark moment stories uh, they came from a, you know a life of poverty and food stamps and hardship and different things um, and it's great to see people succeed on that level because they, they really deserve it and they worked hard for it and you can do that too. And then they, they then we talk a little bit about the, the contestants for the Beachbody Challenge. These are the people that entered the um, daily Beachbody Challenge but these are the ones that are now eligible for prizes of either $20,000 or um, uh it might be 5000 I can't remember, but the grand prize is 100000 They give away two $100,000 grand prizes. And it's kind of cool because if somebody wins this prize, their coach gets a prize as well, and the value of the coach's prize is one-fifth of the value of the winner's prize. The, the coach does not get a fifth of the winner's amount of money. He simply gets a prize that's equal to one-fifth of that amount. And, you know, what a coach chooses to do with that is their own business. They can – anything they want. So, um, Thursday night, um, there, there's so many nice restaurants in Vegas. We were able to go out as a group of coaches. Um, you kind of click with people you met online and you became friends with. And, uh, you know, being that this is my third summit, I went with, uh, coaches I had known for a couple of years to a nice Mexican restaurant. We had a great time. I was there with one of my success partners, uh, Amy Davison and a good friend, Julie Miller, met new coaches, Jen, uh, a couple of other new coaches. It, it was a really great time. And, you know, be, between a combination of the time zone difference in terms of sleep and the uh, excitement all through the day, I really didn't have the energy to last longer than like midnight. So there are some coaches that go out and party all night, which is fine. But I decided that um, that morning I was going to go to uh, work out. So I snuck into the hotel gym yeah, I used my ticket. I didn't sneak in, but I did um, Body Beast Bulk Arms from memory, which was fun. 
And when you're walking around the hotel, you, uh, you're you going to see people that you recognize from the videos. I, I bumped into Mark Briggs, who's from MMX, and also Sean Callahan. Sean is a fellow Diamond coach in one of the groups I'm in. And he's a hell of a guy. He, Sean's like an uncle. Every time he sees you, he gives you a quest bar. You know, like, you know, here's a dollar, you know, like, like an uncle. But um, Friday, we, uh, we woke up early to go do an LM combat workout. They have... Twice a day, they schedule a celebrity trainer workout. And the big workout this year, of course, was Pio and 21 Day Fix. So people were, like, scrambling to get in line for those workouts. And what they did with Pio is they, they were selling Pio at the Team Beachbody core, that, that shop area. And they put what was called a gold ticket inside some of the boxes. And if you got the gold ticket, you were going to be able to work out directly with Shailene. Um, right up at the front instead of having to wait online. And I think they did something similar for 21 Day Fix. I don't know what they put it in. I, I, I didn't pay attention to that. Um, but anyway, I was online to go do Les Mills Combat. And I had done it the year before, but I, so I brought my gloves too. Unfortunately, I got there a little too late, so the room was already full. But they made an announcement that Sean T's room was still empty. And Sean T was in the marquee ballroom, which is like an aircraft hangar. And there was room for at least another 2,000 people. So myself and Heidi from uh, Team Rock Hard and Team Motivate, we went over there. We had a, we had a fantastic time. Sean T really cleaned me up, reminded me that um, I shouldn't stop doing Insanity. It was, uh, it was a brutal workout. You know, we're talking burpees and jump knee tucks and uh, all kinds of horrible, horrible push-ups and pike presses and so many things from Insanity. And it was an incredible workout, and I loved it. Really did. I loved it so much that I, I'm still sore, and it's three days, four days later. But anyway, it's um, so it's Friday afternoon. I'm sorry, it's it's, it's still Friday morning uh, after the uh, after the workout. You run back to your room as fast as you can, so you can shower and put on clean clothes because you're gonna stink if you're really working out. And now you go to one of the workouts. The excuse me, you go to one of the um, workshop sessions of your choice. Again, it's first come, first serve. You want to get in line as quickly as possible. Get in early so you get a good seat. If your friends want to reserve a seat ahead of time, that works great. There were a couple of instances where other coaches that knew me had texted me that they had reserved me a seat. That worked well most of the time. Um, but the rooms are huge, and they have flat screen TVs, you know, plasma screens, so you can see things if you're in the back. Um, top of the line presentation. Um, as far as uh, things like breakfast and lunch, you, you usually go get food at the um, core, at the, at the hotel uh, food court, if you will. And, you know, any hotel food is going to be pricey. So I was able to, one of the things I did was I brought my uh, Shakeology cup that I got when I did 21 Day Fix. I packed about six or seven packets of Shakeology into it. And that was my breakfast every morning. Um, I also had a few clip bars, so that worked out great. And for lunch, I, I had found one of the hotels that was serving... A, um, a really great egg white wrap that I got addicted to, so I was buying that. But, you know, you do what you have to do. And the afternoon, there was the option to either do another workout or to go and meet with celebrity trainers and be able to ask questions and get questions answered, get your picture taken. And, of course, there were more workshops. And, the wor again, the work workshops are so thorough. The workshops are great for any coach that's struggling with what we do. The workshops are great for anyone that needs to see things from a different perspective. But again, the, the, the real value of the workshop is it, it's, a, it's a form of personal development. It, it helps you step out of your comfort zone and it helps you better understand what you need to do to succeed as a coach. And that success is basically in making sure that you're helping people in the best way possible. And as coaching becomes more of a, a successful business for you, Beachbody will reward you by letting you help more people as they give them to you. So, you know, one hand washes the other. Um, that night, we had, we went swimming. You know, there's pools at the hotel. We had a ball. Went out to dinner again. And I went to bed as early as I could because I got up at 5, I got up at 4.15 a.m. to go to the super workout. The super workout is in a parking lot that's been cleaned up nicely and they have giant stages and big flat screen areas and you basically want to get there as soon as possible because you want to get as close to the stage as you can and I waited there for about an hour and a half I had my water bottle and I had one packet of E&E 
ready to go. They have um, they have giant tubs filled with bottles of water on ice. So they have fans set up. You're never overheated. You know they give you plenty of water. They have porta potties lined up so you can do what you have to do. And the the general tone of this workout is everybody is respectful and mindful of each other's space. It, it's it's incredible. It's it's um it's 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 such a wonderful thing. So you're doing the super workout and they bring out all of the trainers from uh, all of the main programs. Uh, we're talking Shailene coming out and doing Pio and some Turbo Five and Turbo Kick and you're having a ball. And Dan and uh, not Dan and Rachel, it was um, Jericho and another gentleman from Les Mills Combat, Les Mills Pump. They came out and we did some Les Mills Combat and Les Mills Pump. Um, Sean T came out. We did T25. We did some Insanity. I think we did some Asylum as well. Uh, Tony Horton came out. We went through P90X3 and P90X. Um, of course, Autumn came out and the house went crazy. Everybody was going nuts. Autumn kicked our trash. She was making us do burpees in the pavement, which is which is insane. But this is a this is a workout that goes from 6:30 a.m. to 8 a.m. and the coolest thing about this workout is if you if you haven't done one of the programs and you're you're part of this experience, you're getting like a little hands-on training on what the workout's really like. It's so much fun. You're taking pictures. You're uh, you're really enjoying it. But when it does come to an end, you feel wiped out. You have the satisfaction that you got a great burn. And you go back to your room and you shower. You go to the core area again. They have more Q and A. They have. Um, they they kind of they, they kind of play with you. They have uh, these drastic specials, and they put out a, a lot of clothing for a discounted area. I um I got a Body Beast shirt. I, get, I have another one. The one I bought that you sometimes see in my pictures is actually a triple X, and that's too big for me. And I was using safety clips to keep it tighter. But this one's my size. I also bought a uh, P90X2 tank top for five dollars. That's a steal. Um, I forgot to mention that we all got these shirts that said never give up if we had scored Success Club 5 in one of the months. And I forget which month it was. And for those of you that don't know what Success Club is, it's a real simple thing. It's um, when when people order Shakeology or they order challenge packs on auto ship, uh, you get a pat on the back from Team Beachbody, you get Success Club points, and if you get five or more, you've succeeded in reaching Success Club 5, and Team Beachbody will now assign to you a person that doesn't have a coach that you can help. So, in this particular month, they gave us the shirt if we met Success Club 5, and I, I was really proud of that. It's um, it's really something. So, uh, I want to just also show you, this is what Pio looks like. It's um, this is I bought this at the core. I didn't get a gold ticket, but it's... it's um, it's a pretty cool program. I'm going to start Pio on Monday. I, you know, I bought it not really expecting to do it, which is dumb. But the more I think about it, I think I want to give it a give it a spin, give it a shot because when I was doing it at the um, Super Workout, I felt like it was a, 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 I felt like it was a great cardio workout, and I felt like it was giving me all of the push I needed. But I also felt like I was stretching and employing what I had recalled from doing things like Yoga X3 or Pilates uh, from uh, P90X3. I also want to show you that Tony Horton was signing uh, copies of his book, The Big Picture. I did not buy this at Summit. I actually had it waiting for me when I got back, but I didn't get it in time. I had ordered it thinking I would get him to sign it. I had no idea they were going to sell it at Summit. But um, this is um, a great book, I'm told, and I'm going to be checking this out real soon. But getting back to um, what happened after the uh, super workout, we we then went and had a grand uh, another another grand ceremony meeting, and they brought out a motivational speaker, um, a really nice woman named Diana Nyad. I hope I'm saying her name right, but she was a um, she was a, a swimmer. And this is a picture of her, and. She swam from the United States to Cuba, and she was able to basically address the coaches, all of us, in the context of what it takes to drive yourself so that you never quit, so that you never give up on your goal. And in the spirit of what our theme was for this year's summit, that was um, that was a really wonderful way 
to convey the message to coaches that you should never quit, you should never give up, because if you quit coaching, you might, you might find yourself not helping that one person who would have benefited tremendously from you and would have lost a lot of weight and would have had a great life or would have not had their life cut short. So it all spins back to that. I forgot to mention that the day before on uh, Friday, we had another motivational speaker. It was um, it was uh, Darren Hardy, and this guy is unbelievable. He is um, the author of the Compound Effect, and his his speech was great from the point of view of showing coaches how to think about moving forward and how to be successful and how to basically set yourself up so that you are not falling short of achieving your dreams by becoming your own enemy, if you will. The um, his, his talk was, was extremely helpful. Um, I can't even tell you how grateful I am for Beachbody for giving us the opportunity to listen to both Darren and Diana on two different intervals. This was um, this was amazing. And last year, they had John Maxwell, which was wonderful, too. So um, during that ceremony, they also gave us uh, statistics on how things are doing with the number of people that we're trying to help, um, the obesity epidemic. Uh, we also talked a little bit about something that Carl Deichler is very, very um, married to right now. It's the act of trying to end uh, slavery in our in our in our world, if you will. Uh, he was explaining uh, this mission in great detail, so that we would hopefully wish to uh, contribute and help out as well. Um, there was also talk, of course, about next year's summit, which is in Nashville, and they also brought out coaches that had achieved different levels of success moving upward and they gave them a chance to speak and tell the crowd what they had done to succeed and again really wonderful testimonies uh, personal stories from different coaches who take the time to convey to you that they went through all the th hardships that you might be going through now but they didn't quit um, you know no coach has ever had an easy streak Every one of these coaches are included. They've all simply buckled in and strapped themselves in and said they're not going to quit. They're not going to give up. And they're going to keep going forward. So, excuse me. After that meeting, I went back to my room. Uh, I was wiped out. I, uh, I just wanted to chill for a bit. We, uh, we got an early dinner because we had that night the award ceremony and they announced the winners of the different Beachbody uh, tiers of competition uh, based on age for um, Beachbody Challenge for people that had, had remarkable results. Uh, they also brought out, um, I should tell you too, Autumn from 21 Day Fix did this remarkable show dance that was like a Britney dance. It was, I think it caught everybody by surprise, but that girl can move. It was really incredible. Um, they also had um, the coach of the year, uh, Lindsay Matway. She came forward and received her uh, award with great honors. And they, you know, they also had coaches from her downline giving her praise. Uh, she even broke out the microphone and sang "I'm Just a Girl" from No Doubt at one point. She did an incredible job. Uh, after this, um, after this award ceremony. Um, and, and by the way, I'm just really glancing over this award ceremony generally. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really giving you the full sense of in, incredible awesomeness that this award ceremony had because it's, it's all like, you know, it's like, it's like the Oscars. There's really no other way to describe it. But after that ceremony, we went to a special party that was just for Team Beach Party coaches. It was held in that marquee ballroom again. They disco-sized the entire place with flat-screen TVs and bars and loudest DJs, you know, hip-hop music and dance music and club music and techno and anything you can think of. And we had a ball. Coaches that knew each other congregated together, made new friends, big dance floor. Our group is kind of like the uh, characters in the Charlie Brown Christmas show. We're all dancing together, having a great time. And this goes on until about midnight. And it's so it's so much fun to be in the room 
interacting with and dancing with and kicking up a fun storm with people you may otherwise just talk to online. What a difference it is to be able to accidentally bump into Josh Spencer and, you know, God forbid, knock his um, drink over or, or see my coach, um, Chris Ballmer, or see somebody like Bo Hosh or, you know, Julie Miller and uh, Megan Dunn and Jonathan Schlanger. These are people I started with. And then new friends like Jim O'Connor and Jen Putnam, whom I shared a room with. And um, I won't talk about one little incident that I, don't, I can't go there. It's not what you think. But um, anyway, we had so much fun. After that, a few of the coaches and I walked the strip and grabbed some pizza. It was, you know, it was a bonding moment. The next day, Sunday, people depart. Some people stay an extra day. They, you know, make a, a pool day out of it. They have a good time. I had, I had to get back early because I had some flight arrangements. I had to juggle around. I had a commitment with my son. But I did walk the strip a little bit in the morning. Uh, I have to say Vegas is really nice, but I'm not really a, a gambler. I'm not a Vegas person, and I prefer New York. But I had so much fun. Every year I go to Summit, and every year I take away something different. The um, What made me so happy, what really made me so, so happy this year was I was, I was so sad when I went to Summit because um, I didn't really express to the coaches in my downline how incredible it is to go to Summit and what you can gain from it. So by the time it came around and I was offering that the coaches would join me, that they were not able to go for different reasons. So when I landed in the airport, when I landed in Vegas, I'm in the baggage carousel. And I took out my phone and I called as many coaches on the phone as I could. And I told them, you need to be here next year. I should not be on the phone with you. I should be talking to you face to face. And wow, go forward three days when they announced a special ticket option for coaches. $99, and I'm so proud to say that 15 of the coaches in my team, uh, Team Infinite, registered and are coming to Summit in Nashville in 2015. And you know what? If things keep going the way they do, I would bet 150 coaches are going to be there from Team Infinite. I feel very good about that. So that's a um, that's a short, oh, it wasn't that short, but that's that's my outline of what happened to Summit and what I got out of it. And I hope that this video maybe explained to some new coaches what happens at Summit and what goes on. It's, it's basically learning and having fun and being with your friends. That's, that's the best way to wrap it up. So take care, guys.